Hi, it's Adam with webstarts.com. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to show you how to accept credit card payments using a service called Pay Here along with your Webstarts website. But before I do that, I want to invite you to tap the subscribe button and enable notifications. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on web design, internet marketing, search engine optimization, and a variety of other topics. I'm gonna start by going to the payhere.co website. It's free to create a payhere account. They charge a small percentage of each transaction as a fee, and I will cover the complete pricing details of payhere in just a few moments. But for now, I wanna call your attention to this live demo button. Click on that, and you'll see the nice clean interface that payhere gives you for checking out. So when your customers click a pay here link, they get this very easy to understand checkout process where they can enter their card information. It all happens in this modal and that's what we're going to be adding to our web starts website in just a few moments. There are a lot of ways you can collect credit card payments online. In fact, there's an integrated way in the Web Starts store that doesn't even require you to use a third-party app. But some of the things that caught my attention about Pay here are the fact that their checkout design is very simple, it's easy to sign up, and then they cater to the most popular ways that you want to collect payments. So you can collect a payment from your product or service with a simple link. You can collect payments automatically on a weekly, monthly, or yearly basis using the subscription plan model and you can collect payments in form of donation uh, just by leaving an empty field that allows the people who want to give you money to enter in whatever amount they like and i like that they provide all three of those ways of collecting money online the first time that you sign up for a pay here account it's going to take you through a wizard to help you decide what type of payment you want to receive, whether that just be a regular payment for a product or service, or whether it be that subscription, or whether it be a donation. I've already signed up for an account, and I went through that wizard, and I created a subscription plan. And you can find your plans under the plan tab, and you can see I actually named my plan donation, which might be a little bit confusing. I just wanted monthly donations for a ministry that I'm working with, so that's why I created that plan and gave it the name donation, but you can name it whatever you want, and you can use it for whatever purpose you want. If you want to create a new plan, you can do that by clicking Create New Plan. This is something I really like, because they show this preview over here in this phone shows you what that looks like and then you can choose the type of plan you want to create a subscription a one-off charge a donation just like what I had described earlier so if you want to just let's say you just want to make a one-off charge you're gonna say that's web design services or whatever you can enter the name and the description then you can put the amount of money that you want to charge and then save your changes and now that's another plan and then the way that you would implement any of these plans that you've created into your Web Starts website, there's a couple of different ways. You can either use the embed code, which you click on embed, and then you just click copy code. Then you'd make your way on over to Web Starts. I'm just going to sign in to one of my existing accounts. I'm going to select a website that I have been working with. And then you just enter that html code by going insert html pasting it in the field provided and then you're going to have a little pay here link now when i save the page you're going to notice that i now have this little pay here link and when i click on it i get my very neat little checkout now i haven't added a logo or business name or customize that checkout page at all but you can do all of that in pay here as well and I'll show you that in just a second so the other way that you can implement this into web starts is just by copying the link so you can just click copy link move over to web starts I'm gonna delete the embed that I already added and then I'm just going to add a button I'm gonna say another website I'm going to enter my pay here URL which is that link and then I'm going to open that in a new tab I'm just going to drag that to the center save my changes 
And then when I refresh my page here, you'll see that I have a click here and it just opens up this separate window with an easy way for me to check out. So that's another way that you can implement pay here into your website. Something I want to draw your attention to is that any element that you add to your website that you want to link to that pay here URL, you can do that just by clicking on the hyperlink option and then pasting the URL into the field and clicking create hyperlink. So now when people click on that link, for example, it will launch the pay here checkout page. So there are a lot of things you can do in web starts to make a very custom look and feel for your checkout and set up very easily set up a link where you can begin receiving money. Let's get back on over into the pay here dashboard. And here you can see there's a tab called balance that shows you the money you've collected and that kind of thing. Subscribers and customers and then payments. I think all of that is pretty self-explanatory. You're not going to begin to receive any money until you add a bank account to your account. And now is the time to talk a little bit about the fees because here you'll see it says payment gateway. So basically when you accept credit card payments online, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, all those, they uh, collect a small amount of fees. Those fees are usually about 2.9% and 30 cents per transaction. And so any payment gateway that you use, whether it be the one that's integrated into WebStarts, which is a partnership with WePay Chase Payments, you're going to pay 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction for any of the money that you're collecting online. Those are your gateway fees. Now, in the case of pay here, they have integrated gateway fees and you can use their gateway and pay them 2.9% and 30 cents per transaction, but then they charge an additional 2% on each transaction if you're using a standard account. You can upgrade to a paid account and pay something like you know $150 or $300 per month, and then you get a little bit of a discount, I think, on that. Or if you're a nonprofit or charity, I think their fee drops down to 1.5%. So let's break that down and think about a $100 transaction. So using pay here, if you receive a hundred dollars, a hundred dollar transaction, you're going to pay 2% to pay here. And you're going to pay another 2.9% to a gateway, whether you use pay here's gateway or another gateway for a total of 4.9% plus the 30 cents per transaction. So that should give you an idea of what it's going to cost to collect these payments uh, using pay here. So you, if you don't want to use pay here as a gateway, you can connect a Stripe account or another account, but all of those accounts are pretty much going to charge the same amount. So we do a vo we do volume at web starts. And so we get a little, like a little, I think we pay like 2.6% for our uh, transaction fees, but you know, we're talking about three tenths of a percent. Anyway, under the personalized tab, you're going to see the place where you can upload a logo. You're also going to be able to enter your business colors. You're going to be able to uh, create a custom button. You can enter your support email, your website, your company name, the legal name, and your address and all those things. And then you just click save changes when you're done. Here they've got some integrations with, uh, for example, you can add it to Slack. So if you want to collect money through through Slack. I imagine that's where you would add it. And then you have your tax settings. It looks like they're based in Europe. So they have a little bit more complex tax settings that we're, than we're used to here in the United States. But nonetheless, those options are available there. And then this is where you add your billing details if you're on a paid plan, for example. And then of course your payouts, you want to add your routing number and your account number uh, for your bank so you know where to get your payouts. Well, that concludes this video on integrating pay here, which is a very easy and convenient way to collect payments from your website and web starts. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to tap subscribe and enable notifications. That way you'll find out when I review other apps that work well with web starts. And um, as always, visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website or online store. And thanks for watching.